What is up guys? So this week we are finally back for another BFL video. Um, I am pumped for this. It's been a minute since we fished one of these. Um, as you guys know, our last one was Smith Mountain and we did pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Um, so I'm definitely excited for this one. This is going to be a weird one. We're coming off, um, let's see, it's May, tournament's on May 13th. So last week we just had the Bassmaster open here and that was 250 boats, I think. So, and 250 of the best guys. So, you know, this place definitely felt some pressure. Um, but this lake is so big that it, it, I wouldn't say it's used to that, but it gets a lot of pressure throughout the year. So I don't think it's going to affect us too much. I think we're still going to catch some fish. Um, I think, you know, before I've even taken a cast, I just put the trolling motor down. Um, I'm thinking 17 and 19 to win probably. Um, it's May, you know, there's still some fish up shallow. There's some fish moving off. So we're going to be running around a lot. We're going to burn a lot of gas. Um, we got Matt coming down. He's staying with us. He's on his way. Um, so it'll be a fun week. We got three days of practice. We're just going to fish hard. Um, you know, I heard a lot of shad spawn going on from the, from the pro guys. Um, the water's up. We're at 303. Normal pool, I think, is at 300, so about three feet high. So the fish, um, I'm hearing a lot of fish in the bushes is, is how people are catching them, um, as well as some offshore stuff. So we'll check all that, everything in between. It's going to be a fun week, so uh, definitely stick around. Um, yeah, just excited to get after it, so uh, let's see what we can come up with. Oh my, well, there's our first fish. I saw a brush pile on the graph. Not what I was expecting. That's a spotted bass. You don't catch a ton of them here. They're kind of just, you know, spy catches, but I saw a brush pile through the spinnerbait up there and he clobbered it. So good way to start, I guess. Well, apparently tub crappie like the dice. Saw him on live scope, threw to him, and he smoked that dice. That's so funny. That's a, whatever that is. That's got to be a striper. I think it's a giant striper. Oh my, huge catfish. Oh. I mean, just smoked it. <sighs> All right. We are dialed. Oh. Well, we know how to catch the big crappie, so that's a good sign. I like this a lot. You want some six inches? I still got a couple. I don't want. <laughs> Look at Told you. Told you. You're fucking pro, dude. Told you. That was sick. Dialed. It was fucking sick. Dialed, dialed, dialed. Dialed. Another catfish? Sure is. All right.
you kidding? Oh my god. Alright. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, these are. And they're choking this thing. Just throwing a little. Dem trying to do like a Damiki thing, but. I keep catching slabs. Unbelievable. Ooh. Oh, striper. Or a hybrid. This is a weird looking one. Oh. Well, I cannot catch a bass. I have caught two catfish, probably ten crappie. And now a striper and one bass. Strong start. All right, we are back for day two out here um totally forgot to film the outro for yesterday and uh it just sucked that's that's about it it sucked sucked bad we caught like two bass maybe three bass um it was brutal i don't think i've ever been so confused um i felt like i had a good plan coming into this week and i just the fish are just not where i thought they would be so we're scrounging around. Um, I fished a ton of points yesterday. Fished a ton of rock, ton of creeks, brush, everything. Like I, I did so much. So I'm gonna do pretty much just some completely different stuff today. I think I might run up the river for a little bit, mess around up there. I think I'm gonna go down lake a little bit, which I don't like to do because there's so much pressure, but with as tough as it is up here for me, um, that might be just what I have to do. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just gonna run around, burn a bunch of gas, spend a bunch of gas money, and uh, hopefully a bass will come of it. But yeah, we're hoping for a better day today. I think we got a we got a little bit, little bit better conditions. I think a little bit more cloudy. Um, I think we got some wind that's coming through, so that should help the bite. Um, but yeah, just gonna keep trucking and uh, see what we find. Well, number one, it's been like, I don't know, 10 minutes, but um, finally caught a fish throwing this little sight bait walking bait across the rock and he smoked it. Sweet. I'm just, I don't get it. I mean, on a spinnerbait. Oh man, this is just. 
That's all I got. I don't know. Well, there's good news and there's bad news about this fish. So I ran up the lake. Um, I fished down the lake for, I don't know, three hours. And um, it just sucked. Like it just sucked. It was horrible. Um, I caught that one you guys saw this morning and um just couldn't get anything going like it's it's not my style i don't like why well, i don't i don't love targeting like individual fish on live scope um it's just not my i'm not good at it yet um i've been working on it and i'm just not where i want to be where i'm confident enough to do it so i kind of ran back up and i was like i'm gonna suffer i'm gonna suffer you know fishing how i want to fish and um first dock i fished got a bite um it got off and then this is the second dock i've fished and i got and i caught that one but the reason that's bad news is the weather for saturday is going to be rainy cloudy so i don't know how a dock bite will do on saturday um but i'm going to keep fishing them and see you know what the fish are going to if they're, on, if they're all under docks, that's the only way I can catch a limit today. Um, I don't know. So, I keep trucking, but man, it is tough. Same dock. Same exact dock. Next cast. That's a, that's a keeper. I don't know. All right, so this dock is loaded. There's a good one. So this, this is the third fish off this dock. And there is so many crappie. I can see them on the live scope. I'll show you guys in a second, but um, I gotta think that's why they're under there. And the last dock that I got bit on also had a bunch of crappie under it. We're getting somewhere. All right, to kind of show you guys what I'm looking at. Let's see, get that sun out of there. So we got we got the dock right there. And then here's the scope. As I turn it, I believe those are all crappie. There's some sort of there's some sort of bait fish that are under this dock. And it's the it looks the exact same as the last dock that I caught fish on. Or caught a fish on so i gotta think that's why the fish are under here so i'm gonna keep fishing docks and see what comes of it These are really good fish. And that fish ate, only had half my Senko on. This is getting interesting.
I think I'm gonna go try something different. Pretty much any dock I see with those fish under it. No, every dock I've fished that has the that I can see those fish under it, I catch a fish. So that's a that is a pattern. Um, and what I realized thinking about this um, while I was driving. I don't think that these fish are under the docks because of the shade and where the sun is. I think they're under there just for that bait. So on, on a tournament day, if I can roll up here and there's still that bait under the docks, I think the bass will be here. And I think that's a, that's a pattern a lot of people are gonna overlook because you, know, you think bluebird skies, sun, docks. So I think um, that on Saturday, if that bait stays under that dock, and I'll check it tomorrow too, that I think that we could catch them doing this. Um, I don't, we, we cannot win this way. So I'm gonna have to find something else to, um, to do, you know, hopefully once we get a limit. So that's where I'm going next. I'm gonna go try to do some different stuff. I'm gonna run up the river ways and uh, see what happens. I'm, I feel a million times better than I did this morning. So good stuff. What the heck? Oh, thank God. I am so confused. Okay. That was crazy. So I threw my spook in this little tree and, and two fish came out. They were like both like three pounds and one bit it at the boat and as soon as he bit it, it broke me off. That was so weird. Must have had like a stick, but hmm. You ready? Yeah. Like so much shit has happened. Yeah. What happened here? What are you saying? Oh, all right. There you go. That's a good sign. Yeah. Go. That was a three pounder. <laughs> Damn, it was that big. Got him. That's a good one. Damn. My bad. Flat on his belly. <laughs> My bad, buddy. Oh, don't do, don't do My bad. That was awesome. Dude. Right as I switched spinner baits. Yep. That was the second point after I switched yep. to this little, what do we say, true, it's a true south, I don't know, triple blade, but there's a little keeper. Weird. All right, this makes no sense. Never mind. Makes plenty of sense. What is that? Is that a bass? Yeah. It looks like a freaking pickerel. It's like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's dinner. He needs some milk. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright. Just slam it up a little bit for us, would you? You wanna just sit in my trolling motor pedal? Yeah. Alright. Well. Thanks for the love, buddy. Thanks for, thanks for literally nothing. <laughs> like, thanks for the offer. Yo. Striper. Yo. There, that's what they are. Yeah. Or it's a freaking toad. Please don't be a bass. Striper, 100%. Yeah.
Yeah. Please don't be a bass. No way. Oh my god. On a drop shot. Yeah. Equal opportunity. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude. Could have done without that. Dude. Oh my gosh, what was that? Three pounder? <laughs> Dialed. Oh, I forgot about your bait. <laughs> I was like, uh, it's all, yeah, it's all actors. Dude. Dude, we're getting out of here. Figured this bite out. Yep. One just busted right behind me too. So that's four bites. No, three bites. That is gonna wrap up practice. Um, brutal, brutal to say the least. We fished our butts off. Um, yeah, it was just tough. Um, I didn't pick the camera up a bunch today. I had Phil in the boat, we were hanging out. Uh, wanted to get him on a few fish. Um, he had a couple follows on the glide, which was really cool. Um, he's definitely one of the best glide bait fishermen I've been around, just the technique he's got it dialed. Um, but, yeah, tough day today um, and yesterday. You know, we got on that dock bite yesterday. I did it a little bit today, got one or two bites. Um, I threw a wacky rig without a hook and uh, got a few bites doing that. And then we got on the spinnerbait bite, caught a few doing that. That's what I'm hearing. Everyone I talk to says spinnerbait on points. So we got on the pattern that everyone else is on. Um, but the really cool thing, and the one thing I'm very curious about is that, I'm really curious about that marina bite. That could be very cool. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna play out. I will definitely be there at some point with the jerk bait throwing it. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting. I was not expecting that. I kinda, I fished it yesterday, couldn't get bit, kinda went in again and switched up through that jerk bait and got bit, so. I'm gonna definitely keep that in mind for tomorrow. Definitely hit that. But yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, Matt had a decent, same practice as me, caught probably the same amount of fish, but yeah, I have no clue. It's gonna be very interesting. We're gonna fish our butts off tomorrow. Um, and if we catch five, I'm gonna be very happy. And that's it. Thank you guys for following along. Um, I'm loving doing these BFL videos. They're a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun coming down, spend a week fishing, but Tomorrow's gonna be a grind. So stay tuned. That'll be next week's video. No matter how we finish, there will be a video. I'm saying that right now, so I post it. Yeah, I will see you all next week. Peace.